Hello everyone, this is Marco and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show you how to apply your Spinosaurus replacement parts, designed by myself and produced and released by Cyratech. Not only I'll be showing you how to replace the head, but also the tail segment and the feet. This is to achieve a more realistic and screen accurate look for the model, getting rid of all those weird looking proportions. I won't be doing any fancy repaints, I'll be painting the parts to blend in with the original figure. Before we remove the head pieces, I already removed the feet and the tail. For this custom, you do not need to remove the tail. I removed mine because I was still figuring out how to design a segment for the tail to elongate it. I ended up just replacing the very tip, so you do not need to remove the tail at all. So you want to separate it right there. Just use a knife and cut that part off. It's not too hard, it is made of a softer material. Make sure to remove all the parts that are remaining inside of the main part of the tail too. To remove the feet, you just want to slip a knife through the seam lines of the leg, pry them open a little bit and pull the feet out. I didn't really record uh, taking the feet out and all that procedure because I was still in the process of designing them and I wasn't sure if I was going to make a video on it yet but it wasn't too difficult just need a little bit of elbow grease so this is the new foot compared to the older one it is slightly smaller I tried to replicate the same style of sculpt so they would blend in really well with the original figure so let's have a look at that tail replacement piece as you can see it fits in right there and it elongates the tail by quite a bit actually. Look at the difference there. So all you need to do now is apply super glue in that seam line and join the two pieces together. I make sure I use some spray activator too so that helps me glue the parts together even quicker. So once you've joined the two segments together you want to hold them in place for quite a bit for the glue to set. So this is the tail finished. I made sure to replicate the sculpting style as closely as possible so the new part would blend in perfectly. Say bye bye to that short little tail. So as you can see the new feet have a little peg just like the original one. So all you have to do is just pry the leg open a little bit and slide the new foot in, glue the seam lines together again and that's it. And the foot still spins. If you want you can glue it right there like I did because I don't really like my feet to spin around like that. If you've removed the tail, I recommend adding some hot glue on the ball joint right there and then pushing it back together so it stiffens the articulation a little bit. So this is the Spinosaurus with a new tail and new feet. Now all that's left to do is replace the head. We're going to be using the same exact procedure as with the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. We're going to boil some water up and put it in a bowl and then dunk the head of the Spinosaurus in the hot water. This will allow the soft plastic to become even more soft, which will allow us to pull the bottom jaw and the top jaw parts off. I recommend to be extra cautious because you do not want to bend that pink plastic inside. Although it is a bit harder plastic than the outer part, give it enough heat it will bend. So please be careful, do not overheat it and do not pull too hard. I should mention that you're doing this at your own risk. <laughs> I'm not responsible for any damages that you're going to potentially do. Mattel does add some glue, so if you're struggling to pull the parts off, do not pull too hard and use a knife to slit the glued bits apart. As you can see, I managed to pull that part off. Now it's time to dip it back again to soften the plastic on the top of the jaw. I recommend dunking it in for about a minute or two, depending on how hot the water is. So after a bit, you wanna take it out and let it drip. Don't stick your hands on it quite yet because it's gonna be boiling hot. And because my one was glued quite well, I decided to use a blade and slide the blade in between the two parts. This helped really well. And then I was able to pull the parts away properly. I'm making sure I'm not going too deep with the blade and just running it across the gum line. If the head starts becoming a bit too hard again, you can always dunk it back in the bowl of water. If the water's starting to get a bit cold or a bit tepid, then you can boil some more and start over. Remember, there is no rush. You want to get this thing right. So I did the same thing on the other side. I used the knife and then gently but firmly pulled the rest off. Then, still using the knife, remove any residual parts of the softer plastic and of the glue away from the gum line. That's because some part of it is going to be exposed with the new head sculpt. 
Be careful not to chip away too much or you might damage the shape of the inside of the mouth. I'm just running the blade side to side gently just to get rid of any excess of glue. If you want, you can use sanding paper, but you want to use quite a fine one. So we don't want that mouth part to look rough. We want it to look nice and smooth. So these are the replacement parts. The eyepieces are separate. I'm going to use these blank ones because I would like to paint my own. All you have to do now is just apply glue into the holes right there and some activator on the pegs of the mouthpiece. Then join them and press down firmly. If you're worried about potentially having warped the plastic, I recommend not gluing the parts yet. Just test it out by checking if the parts align together properly. Now I'm repeating the same exact procedure on the lower jaw. Gluing, spraying, aligning, and then putting them together. And now our Spinosaurus has got overall better proportions and a more accurate sculpt. That new head sculpt really does help a lot. All that's left to do is to paint it. If you want, you can repaint the whole figure and make it look a bit more screen accurate. But I'd like mine to look and feel like the original, but with a better sculpt. So I got my paints and mixed them to achieve the same exact colors on the original figure. Color matching is quite hard. It's not something I can explain. I did decide to change the eye a little bit though. The original one has got orange eyes. The one in the film's got green eyes. I prefer the look of the green eyes. I also painted a slightly darker eye socket too, just to make that eye pop a little bit more. But uh, you'll see that when I reach it. I will also tweak the belly color a little bit. I will not only make it go up to where the original figure has the color, but also all the way down the belly and the tip of the tail. I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video without me babbling on and I'll talk to you towards the end of the video.
Right, so here I am again. Sorry for the jump scare. <laughs> and there we go. I'm painting the toes and the dew claw, which was missing on the original figure, paint wise, that is, and the hand claws too. For some reason, Mattel didn't paint those, so I decided to paint them. Once that's all done, I will give it all a coat of matte sealant, and then I will apply some nice glossy lacquer to the eyes and the teeth and the claws. So this is the Spino with the matte sealer, and this is the lacquer I'll be using for the glossy parts. The glossy parts include the eyes, the teeth, the hand claws, and the toe claws. So once I applied all the gloss, I also decided to get the sticker off of the old foot and apply it onto the new one. And with that, our Spinosaurus is complete. This was a really, really fun project. It really does help the Spinosaurus quite a bit. We've only really had this sculpt for the Spinosaurus released by Mattel and having a little tweak here and there on the head and the feet and the tail really does help a lot. Cyrotec has released the head pieces already. Uh, I think he's interested in releasing the uh, remaining parts too. If not, I will be having them on my Etsy store. So just keep an eye out on uh, social media, on Cyrotec's page and mine, just to keep up with any news. Is a comparison with the old Spinosaurus, and yeah, it really does make a heck of a difference. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. I would like to give a massive thank you to all of my Patreons. Seriously guys, your support really does mean the world to me as it helps me do what I love for you. You help me buy materials and most of all, you give me a helping hand with improving the quality of the content of my videos. Even if it's just a small donation, every little helps.